Some Northwest Indiana schools have a new plan to keep swimmers safe. It's a high tech device that kind of looks like a simple headband, but it can alert lifeguards if someone is drowning. And joining us now to explain is Mark Karen, the CEO uh, from Wave Drowning Detection Systems. He is joined by Hobart Aquatics Director Kenneth Cawthon. Thank you both uh, for joining us on First to Four. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Okay, um, let me start with you, uh, Mark. Uh, first explain how the system itself uh, works. Yeah, so it's a system to measure how long swimmers are underwater. And if they're underwater longer than you want, it has a bunch of different alarms. And we do that via a wearable. So you see what Ken is standing in front of is the uh, tower that holds these wearables. The kids, the students just go pick one up before they go in the pool, put them on the back of your head. And these allow the system to measure essentially facial submersion. So what you'll see over here, I'm just going to hold this down, and the, it actually, uh, the water blocks the signal that communicates with this hub right here. This hub can monitor a couple hundred swimmers, and right now we have it set for 15 seconds. So if that swimmer's face is down in the water for 15 seconds, the lifeguard is going to race. Oh, there it is. Nice loud uh, sonar ping. And then as soon as it comes up out of the water, it reconnects with the system and that alert clears. Hmm. So that's how it works. Okay, so Kenneth, let's bring you in because you wanted this there at your pool. Tell us why. Well, we originally were looking at multiple devices of something that we didn't want to replace lifeguards because they're their number one priority, first in safety and everything that we could do, first response. Uh, we looked for a device that actually gave our lifeguards more of a tool to be able to utilize as more of an alerting system of if something's potentially wrong in the water. Um, once we came across this, it kind of checked every box that we needed. Mark just said it for 15 seconds. I know a uh, game some kids play is, you know, how long <laughs> can you hold your breath underwater? Uh, kind of talk about what, 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 what setting is it going to be at at the uh, facility there? So the nice part that we actually utilize is the bands that we have here is what our lifeguards will actually have on. Um, First alert is that actually goes to them. So they have the potential to be able to find it and mitigate the issue if they are holding their breath before that sonar even goes mm -hmm. off. And that's cool. what we try to aim for. Now, if it goes farther than that, that's when the secondary device kicks in and then that could actually take action that way as well. All right, pretty interesting to see. Mark Aaron, Kenneth Cawthon, thank you so much for telling us all about this. Thank you. Thank you.